Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. I will bless his holy name. How many really believe that when the praises go up, the blessings come down? Come on and let's give God a praise on this morning. How many of you need a blessing today? Will he inhabit the praises of his people? Let's praise the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Come on, let's magnify our God on today. For our God is great and he is mighty. Our God is powerful. Our God is awesome. And we lift him up today. He said if he be lifted up that he would draw. And we want him to draw on today. We don't want to patty cake God. But we want to give God a sincere praise on today. When the praises of God go up. Hallelujah. The blessings come down. And I don't know about you but I need a blessing on today so I came with a praise I came to give God the glory I came to lift him up I came to magnify his holy name I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord I'm glad to be here I'm glad to be in the midst of the saints for I find safety in the midst of the saints I'm glad to be in a place where I can lift up my hands where I can open up my mouth I can say hallelujah without any regret without any regards to what man might think I'm able to give my God praise for when I was down he lifted me when I was low he picked me up when I was sad he made me glad and for that I give him praise I give him glory I give him the honor come on and clap your hands in this place come on praise him in the sanctuary come on praise him in the sanctuary come on and give your God some praise hallelujah that is the highest praise hallelujah hallelujah we give him the glory come on saints and make some noise in this place i don't know about you but i came to give him praise i came looking for god to do something in me i know i want you blessed but i need something myself i came to pour out my praise on him for if i pour out on him he'll pour in on me so i give him praise on this morning i don't mind praising him i don't mind giving him the glory i don't mind clapping my hands i might even do a dance but whatever it is i want it to be acceptable in his sight i don't want to praise him from my lips from from my heart i say thank you jesus he kept me from dangers seen and unseen healed my body kept my mind yes he did and for that i give him the glory for that i give him praise hallelujah hallelujah come on saints we come to give our god praise but this is the day that the lord has made i don't want you to be mad but i want you to be glad about it i want you to put those glad hands together and give your god some praise We give your name the glory. We give you the honor and the praise. We thank you for Jesus today. We thank you for his son. We thank you for the blood that he shed for us. For without the shedding of the blood, there would not be remission of sin. We thank you, Father God, for bringing us into this place where we can call on your name. We thank you for the spirit of truth that will lead and guide us, God. Now have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way in the midst of us. Move by your spirit in the name of Jesus. Reign on us. Reign in us. Yes, 
my God. Sit on your rain today. Let it rain in this place. You have the right of way. We invite you in now. Now by the hand of the enemy that wants to sit upon the saints, we lose freedom and liberty in this place. But where your spirit is, there's liberty. They have the freedom to praise you. They have the freedom to lift up their hands. Open up their mouth. Call upon your name. For we know if we call on you, you'll hear us. And Father, for that we give you praise. Now touch the man of God that's going to bring forth your word. Send your word with power. Send it with clarity, God. In the name of Jesus, anoint him from on fresh. Let your will be done in the name of Jesus. And Father, we're praying now as they enter into these gates. Let them enter into your gates with thanksgiving and come into your courts with praise. For praise is comely to the upright. And you inhabit the praises of your people, Lord. Put a praise down within in the mighty name of Jesus saturate us Lord sanctify us God save us Lord deliver us God heal us Lord in the name of Jesus and Father we'll be careful to give your name the praise we give you the honor we give you the glory we gonna praise you in advance for what you're gonna do in this place. Hallelujah! We give you an advance praise and the people of God say, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah! Amen and it is so. Amen and it is done. in Jesus name hallelujah we praise God for each and every one of you coming out today we thank God for our listening audience on today we do honor the man of God Apostle Garfield Curlin and Mary elect Lady Curlin in their absence and to the speaker of the hour Pastor Dennis Winborn we just say God bless each and every one of you and we are so glad to be in the house of the Lord where the feast of the Lord is going on the table is spread you can get whatever you need all you've got to do is plug in God is here to meet your need how many really believe that you're in a safe place today hallelujah and God is here to do just what he says we're gonna go to the word of the Lord on today very familiar passage of scripture Psalms 134 I'm going to read it in its entirety. Behold, look, bless ye the Lord, all ye servants of the Lord. Are you servants of the Lord? Which by night stand in the house of the Lord. We know we're standing in the house of the Lord today. But I want you to lift up your hands in the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord that made heaven and earth. Bless thee out of Zion. Can the church bless the Lord on this morning? Make a joyful noise unto the Lord our God, for he is great and he is mighty. The word of the Lord is already blessed. Amen.
together and let's bless our God today. Never will a rock cry out in my place. This is your opportunity to praise him. Hallelujah. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. How many of you love to praise his name? How many of you know that your praise causes things to look better?
Jesus. Come on and worship him. Praise the name of Jesus. Yes. He is my rock. He is my fortress. The Lord is my deliverer. It's in him I put all my trust oh I praise the name of Jesus sing it with me Jesus, which is a strong tower? Has he protected you from anything? Has he kept you from anything? Have you ever been in a situation that you didn't know how you were going to get out of? But your trust in him made the difference. He's my rock, yeah. He's my fortress. He's my deliverer. Matchless name of Jesus. For kings and kingdoms, they're gonna all pass away. But there's just something about that name. Yes, there's something. bless his name come on everybody lift your hands up and glorify him in the house of God today hey. oh come on take a moment out and bless him hallelujah come on take a moment out and bless him hallelujah yeah, yeah. hallelujah 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 come on hallelujah hallelujah Jesus 
Come on, sanctified people. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Come on, it's the highest praise. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Oh, y'all know how to worship him. Come on. Lift up your voice to the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. He alone is worthy, yes. He alone is worthy. Oh, God. He alone is worthy. Come on. You know he's worthy of it. Even when you don't feel like it. He's worthy, yes. Hey. Feel the atmosphere with worship. Ah, yeah. Hey, hey. Feel the atmosphere with worship. Oh, yes. Come on for a moment. Come on, come on. He's here. Oh, God, yes. We worship you. We magnify you, Lord. Come on, let me hear your voice. We glorify you. Come on, lift him up. Hallelujah. Yeah. On this Sunday morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God. Hallelujah. No place you're greater to be but in the house of God. Come on, lift up your worship. Woo. Yes. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Don't worry about what, which way I'm going to move. Just come on and worship him right now. He's going to do it. Come on, worship God. Hallelujah. He's here in a mighty way. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. your hands together clap your hands and bless the Lord everybody and while you're clapping your hands just thank him just because he's God come on hallelujah 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 presence today. Amen. Look at someone and say, I'm glad you're here. Amen. I know you're under that mask, but tell them, I'm glad you're here. Amen. Look at him and say, now come on, let's worship. Throw your hands up in worship for just a moment. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, God. Thank you for the worship, Lord, experience. Thank you, God, for the time of lifting our hands in worship, Lord. We glorify you in this place. Magnify you, Lord. Woke us up this morning. Started us on our way. Gave us a mind to be in the house of God. You protected us while we drove here. You, oh, God. God is so good while you're standing we honor the Lord Jesus Christ come on praise the Lord everybody for honoring God this morning amen to my spiritual father your apostle and leader amen Dr. Apostle Godfrey Curlin amen it's an honor to be in the pulpit when he's not here to amen mother amen Mary Curlin in the house say amen everybody woman of God is here, Mother Sellers, all of the elders and ministers, and amen. To my wife, amen. Praise the Lord for her and everybody here today. Amen. Amen. You're not mistaken as someone shorter in the pulpit. Praise the Lord. Amen. But I thank God for the assignment. Everybody say an assignment. Amen. I appreciate the assignment here. We know our leaders on an assignment to bring the word of the Lord in other places and I thank God for being here in this pulpit with my family amen on this Sunday morning lift your hands up and say Lord everybody if you mean it come on point to me say Lord 
send the word this morning. Now, come on. I need to feel something from y'all. I know. Amen. Come on. Say, Lord, send the word. Ah, yes. This morning. Amen. To my family. Amen. My second family. Amen. I appreciate you all so much for receiving me and to everyone the service that you provided. Amen. I pray you're praying for me as I get ready to bring the word of the Lord today. Amen. Look at someone say under divine influence. Uh huh. That's the text today. Under divine. How many of y'all thank God for the divine influence? that you are under you can have your seat in God's presence thank you amen so much I pray you would be praying for me as I preach I really need the prayer warriors heard my sister elder praying this morning and I felt God's presence all in this place and I thank God for his anointing amen that changes and helps us today amen I want to go to the word of the Lord today amen if you would get your Bible open to the book of first Kings 19 just hold it there for just a moment Amen. Y'all going to pray with me this morning. Amen. As we go into the word of the Lord, we'll uh, hear. Amen. And thank God for our leader. Say amen, y'all. Amen. And we were just here and, and then end up coming right back here to be with you all on this Sunday. And I thank God for that. Amen. Now watch this now. I want to go to the text today. Uh, Father, I pray your grace and favor will be upon this, Father, as we speak the word of the Lord. Give us clarity of thought, and we thank you for it. Everybody say in Jesus' name. Can you say amen? Amen. I want to say something with you. When someone is, if, if anybody, you know what I'm talking about, uh, anyone ever been intoxicated in the wrong way? Y'all, come on. Amen. Been under the influence of anything, amen, that was not of God. When you're under influence, amen, it changes your way. Amen, y'all, come on, amen. But when you're under the influence of God, y'all, uh-huh, it has a way, amen, of making things different in your life. Today, I'm going to talk about, amen, something that God gave me for the house of God. Amen, I want you to follow me as I lay the text. I know it would take some time, but just kind of go with me for just a few moments. Elisha the Tishbite, we're going to talk about the man of God today, this great prophet, amen, from Gilead. The story picks up, we're going to go to chapter 19. Elisha, Elijah, excuse me, is known as this unique prophet that comes out of, I mean, just somewhere. He just kind of comes out, he appears. Theologians kind of symbolize him as being a unique like Melchizedek. He's like a Melchizedek because he just appears. And then his life really has, follow me, no beginning and seemingly no end. Uh huh. He has simply no beginning, no end. Elisha, because he's a type of something. Somebody say the word type. Amen. And so the story picks up here in Elijah. And I know you've heard many stories on this before. So we pray that there's some fresh revelation that would come from this. The story we're going to talk about, they picks up in 1 Kings 19. And we're going to go there uh, where God and Elisha are having this discourse and conversation. And they're having this talk. And so Elijah, amen, was a little bit discouraged. He gets down in verse 10. And he goes on and he, amen, he says, you know what? Uh, where was your voice to be found? God tells him to look, you know, look forward in this and look forward in that. And then he goes on and says, he hears the voice of God, the still small voice. Everybody say the still small voice. But it's in verse 13 where I want to build the text from. And I want you to follow the words very quickly, uh, you know, very uh, intently, excuse me, and pay attention to what we're going to say. In 1 Kings 19 and 13, the Bible says, and it was so when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle. Amen. And he went out and stood in the entrance end of the cave. And behold, there came a voice unto him and said, what does thou hear, Elijah? Someone say, wrap yourself in it. Y'all will get this in a minute. And so in the ancient Hebrew, you can have your seat, you can have your seat, you can have your seat. In the ancient Hebrew, amen, amen, what God had given me today was that, you know, a lot of times, you know, we sense the anointing. But God said in this season, everybody say, my time my season in this season of your life you can't just get it amen and leave it but you got to wrap yourself in it Lord help me in here today Whew. tell somebody to wrap yourself in it now this unique 
uh, text, Elder Bell. I mean, some of you all, I, I missed some things, Elder, when I have read this many times. Amen. I, I've read it many times, uh, Carla, but I, I missed some stuff. I missed some things. I went back, and the Bible says, now y'all listen to this now. It says he wrapped himself in his mantle. And I find out, I hope y'all praying for me because I'm a son. Come on now, amen. Now watch this now. He, I found out that many times, and I don't want y'all to get mad with me, but it's all right, I'm going to preach anyhow, amen, is that we sometimes, we, the anointing falls, but sometimes you don't wrap yourself in it. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And I, 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 I remember that back in the day, amen, and I said, God, I missed some things on the way. I remember, you know, we, you know, we shout. Y'all come on, talk to me. We, we praise him, and, and, and the anointing falls, but tell somebody, look what he wrote, said, did you wrap yourself in it? Oh, God is saying in this season of our life, whatever is happening in, this, in the house, and we're going to talk about how to wrap yourself. You got to wrap yourself in what God is doing. Oh, yes, God. I hope y'all getting this today. And so you probably said, why? Because I want to break down the word rap. You all are used to the style of ministry that God has given me. So watch this now. In the word, everybody say, wrap yourself. Now, it seems symbolic. I need my uh, bigger towel there. I just want to kind of, yeah, I just want to use this as a symbolic. Thank you, Elder. Amen. You know, it seems symbolic. He has this cloak or mantle. Are y'all with me today? Y'all know I'm going to get down here. If I trip and these boots don't laugh. Come on, y'all. Watch this now. Watch this now. So, 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 watch, so, watch. So, he wraps himself. Now, the Bible didn't say he was told to wrap himself. Y'all will get this in a minute. Amen. He wrapped himself, realizing I need to do something with what I'm getting. Y'all not going to pray with me today. Come on now. I, I can't just get it. Now, see, one thing I found out, and I don't want y'all to get upset with me, that sometimes anointing comes on us for what we do, but we don't wrap ourselves in that same. What do you mean? Now watch this. I can pray and God will anoint me for this message. Y'all come on. But when I get done, am I wrapped? Y'all miss. Am, am I wrapped in it? Now, I don't, I'm not saying this because he's not here. I'm just saying the truth. You know, many times, if you, anybody, if you're sensitive, I, I, I can be around an apostle and I'm like, you know, it's like I've been in church because I feel this presence. Y'all again. So let me use someone in the, that I have been around for many years. I hope she don't mind. But I thank God for Mother Seller. Say amen. Y'all say amen. Now, I'm a son to her. David, you know, thank God. The curling family allowed me to, amen, to be a part of their family. I appreciate that. But watch this. Now, I'm, I'm going to show you how we need to be wrapped. Y'all know how sometimes we can get things. And then when we leave, y'all y'all get this. When we leave, you got something, but when you leave, you're not wrapped. So what happens is, and now it's not no one's fault. It ain't the church's fault. It ain't the preacher's fault. It's your fault. Because the Bible says he wrapped himself. Now, why is that important? Because when I break down the word wrap, we're going to go somewhere. Come on now. So Amber, we're we, we going to go somewhere when I get to that. Watch this now. So, you know what? Like, now, I, I want to use my mother for an example. I can be around uh, Mother Sellers, and I don't care if we're just having dinner. Y'all will get this in a minute. I don't care if we're just talking on the couch. She can lean over and just lean on me, and I feel God's prayer. Y'all, y'all, yeah, yeah, I just, she, you know, she can be like just talking and just say, oh, son, and I just I'll be like, oh, Lord, I feel God. Yeah. Yeah, see, y'all missed a good time. You know, y'all know. Amen. So, so, so what am I saying? Uh, in her life, she is, y'all, she wraps herself in it. See, it's a difference because right now, everybody say, in this next move, and in this next move, you're going to have to wrap yourself in it. Which means you can't just come here. Y'all y'all getting mad at me. You can't just, yes, great house, great, great. But I, I, got to, I got to walk out of here with what is in the house. I got to wrap myself in it. Everybody say wrap it. Come on now. Now, y'all stop playing. You know sometimes you didn't wrap yourself in it. You know you shouted. You know you praise him, but you didn't wrap yourself in it. We're dealing with generations of situation where as soon as you get to the parking lot, As soon as you go through the door, everything that happened in here seems to walk off for you. Y'all, 
But God said in this season, you're going to have to. I know y'all got, got to get this. Come on now. Is anybody? Come on now. Amen. Don't y'all make it hard. Come on, make I want y'all to grab this today. Now, the word rap. Now, watch this now. Now, watch this. So I went back and looked at the ancient Greek. The ancient Greek on the word rap. Lord, y'all don't have to shout, but let me tell you what it means. It refers to the symbol of a shepherd's staff. The next symbol, Richard, watch this, is a basket. When combined, it means authority contained. So watch this, y'all. So when he was rapping, he was saying that, amen, he wasn't rapping like y'all know, like I'm, he, you know, he wasn't that kind of rapping. But when he was rapping himself, he was saying that the authority of what I got, I'm, y'all. I'm containing what I got. I'm not just going to get what I got. I'm going to, y'all, y'all, y'all better come on. And, and we got to be honest in this time. We haven't always contained what we, And tell somebody, that's been my problem. Woo, y'all, come on. See, y'all, 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 come on now. I, I, I know. Come on. That's been my problem. Because by the time I got home, I lost it. By the time I went to the grocery store, I lost it. I don't see. you. I found out somebody, you got to walk in it daily and not wait for it to come on Sunday. I need 10 of y'all to stop. And let me go over this side. And I had to recognize that, yeah, I appreciate God coming on me when I minister, but when I get through, when I get through with the song, when I get through preaching, when I get through teaching, what happens to me afterwards? I just need some of y'all to come on. Are you getting undressed by the devil when it comes, when by the time you get to the parking lot? Woo! Or are you still wrap yourself? You're like, yeah, yeah, you still. Because a person that's wrapped, watch this. You feeling on them. Whew. Anyway. And I use my mother to say that because she sits, you sit, sit in the audience. She's not at the pulpit. Because we have been tricked and deceived into thinking that the only time you need to anointing on you is just when you're doing something. Y'all, y'all. Woo, for God. And so I don't need it. I don't need, I don't need it to be. Now, you don't need it to do everything. True, I want to be theologically sound. But you need it on you. Y'all ready for the shout? Because it keep you when you get yourself in something. You need it on you. Because y'all ready for this? I'm going to I'm gonna go down and show you something in a moment. It, it's a breaker when you're going through some stuff. It's a deliverer when you face y'all. Come on. It's a deliverer. Have you ever had the anointing come back and hit you and you know, you're like, God, I, that's just what I needed. Y'all going to pray for me while I teach this. Y'all getting this this morning. So watch, I'm going to go back. The word wrapped in the ancient Hebrew is two symbols. One shepherd, one basket. When put together, it means authority. Watch this, y'all. Contain. I had to go back and say that. It means that the authority of that anointing, elder, is right. And I'm, I'm, so that means if it's contained, that means that it can be released where you don't have it. So that means that, see, see, see what, what I got to get back to, what we got to get back to. Amen. See, this is individual. This is not talk. This is not church. -wide. This is individual. As an individual, are you containing this? Y'all don't like this, but it's the truth. Come on. Are you containing it? Because if you contain it, amen, everybody tell somebody grace going to follow you everywhere you go. I need, I, that means everywhere you go, Richard, grace got to go with you. I don't care if you go. You ain't even got to strike up no prayer, but grace just goes with you. You don't have to call on the name of the Lord. But if you walk with it every day, it will follow you where you go. When you get to something that's trying to fight you, come on. Whew, deliverance will happen. Has anybody here had deliverance in, in the last, come on, year or so? Come on, has anybody been set free from anything in the last year or so? Has anybody, come on now. Now, we're not talking about the measure of anointing because that's determined by God. 
You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm clear on the fact that my leader's anointing is, is, has a greater, much greater measure. I, under, I tell him that in person, tell him it in private, and I understand that. But I still want to be, y'all, y'all ready? For, come on, y'all. I still want to be anointed in the sense that not so much in a message. I don't want to be anointed in the teaching. I want when I get done and put the mic, y'all better come on. Yvette, when I put the mic down, I want to be able to drive in my car. I don't have no, y'all not going to pray with me this morning. Amen. I, when I'm in my car, that God is still with me. Y'all, amen. When I go to the grocery store, I don't have to speak in tongues and kick nobody's basket over. But when I'm pushing my cart, thank you. Come on, come on. Amen. When I'm pushing my cart, God, you know, I just feel you around me. Because watch this. Y'all ready for the shout? When anointing with you, everything around you starts getting broken. Huh? Folks around you, you know, you like you, amen. You'll start getting calls from your family because when the anointing is around you, things change, y'all. And can we be honest for 30 seconds and admit sometimes I didn't let it stay on me? I didn't let it stay, I didn't let it resonate because watch this, you can shout in it, y'all, come on. You can worship in it, but then pull it off before you get. Tell somebody, don't take it off. Shout them and say, wrap yourself in it. Are y'all getting this? Come on, shout hallelujah, somebody. Now, because, amen, because Elijah has done this in verse 15, Elijah is a type of. Of Christ, if I say type, he represents a type of Christ. Is this is y'all getting this today? Amen. Amen. He's a type of Christ, and so his representation, listen, is leading us to the New Testament. Elijah's taking us, elder, to the New Testament. Y'all ready for this shout? Because what Elijah's trying to tell you, what looks like a wrapping will turn. Y'all ready for this into a person? What y'all? Uh, Lord, help me. I got to teach this. See, what, what, Sister Kathy, what it looked like was being wrapped in some mysterious oil, it turns, when it gets to the New Testament, it turns into somebody named Christ, whose name is Christos. Oh, I'm going to let y'all let that eat that for a minute. See, what it looked like, it was something mysterious. little Because watch this. Old Testament, they, they have words like smear, rub. I'm going to let y'all think about it. So in the Old Testament, they said they, they rubbed it on. Yes. When Moses made the anointing for the, for the tabernacle, it was three things, I believe. I won't maybe, don't remember all of them, but three things he wanted to anoint was the priest. I'll let y'all shout because we're supposed to be. Pre- yeah. The three things that were supposed to be anointed was the priest, the tabernacle, and, and all the furnishing. So God said. I anointed, y'all ready for this, the house. Woo. I've anointed, y'all, y'all don't get that. I've anointed all the furnishings. He said, all this stuff already got, or, y'all don't. I done put myself on all this already. He said, now when I'm waiting on, it's for the priest. Lord, y'all looking at me crazy. What I'm trying to do now is say, where are the priests at? Where are the people? Woo. That I'm trying to put this on so you can stay with you. Because th- those three things, it was the house, every instrument, everything. He said, I'm going to so put some oil on it. Can I tell y'all something? I hope y'all don't get upset. Is that we're supposed to draw from everything that go happen in church. From the prayer to the singing. I, I ain't got nobody. Come on. To the playing. All of it. Y'all ready for this? Brings an oil to my life. Woo, y'all. Ain't nobody going to talk to me today. And what it does, it's supposed to wrap around me, Sister Hinton. It's not supposed to fall on me because anything that just rests on you, it can. But he said, if, if it wraps itself around you. So Elijah said, I need to find some people that will wrap yourself. Lift your hand and say, God, help me wrap myself. Y'all not mad at me. Come on, y'all getting this this morning. Say, God, help me wrap myself. Now watch this, y'all. Watch this. Verse 15 says, And the Lord said unto him, Go return unto thy way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when thou comest, anoint Hazael, 
to be king. So what he does for time's sake, he anoints two kings, one prophet. What do you mean? God says to him, you are anointed. You have wrapped yourself. Go get two kings. Anoint them. He's a type of Christ. Y'all got to get this. Woo! Anoint them and the prophet that's going to stand in your shoes. He said, I want you to anoint him. I want you to find him and I want you to anoint him. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I thank God for the anointing. Oh, come on, y'all. Amen. I th- everybody say, thank God for the anointing. But tell you, say, say neighbor, in this season, y'all got to say it loud. Say, in this season, you're going to have to wrap yourself. I need some folks that want to wrap yourself. Give God a praise right there. You need to wrap yourself. I will be the first person to say, and I know some of y'all will not admit to that, that there were some services where I got blessed. Yeah, I wish I had. I got blessed, Sister Yvette. I got blessed real good. I, I ran down here. I, I jumped. Come on, y'all. But then by the time I got home, I found out. I, uh, see, and some of y'all should lift your hand, too, because you, you, you're playing. Come on now. You found out you weren't wrapped. You know how you found out you weren't wrapped? Because here come the devil. I feel, come on, y'all. Soon as an enemy came, now you're like, you know, I, I, I got it, but I'm not wrapped. Because when you unwrapped, now Satan has a clear shot at you. But when you're wrapped, y'all can't trust myself. Thank God for it. So you, so you want to break, so you probably said, I need to, I need to understand that wrapped. I'm, I haven't got that far yet. Come on, give me some more. Give me, let me build it. Let me build it. Let me build it. Everybody say, thank God for being wrapped. You can have great anointing all around you, but it don't mean that you wrapped yourself in it. Ooh, y'all don't like that, but that's the truth anyhow. I can be around the man of God or those people that God put on me all I want to, but if I don't draw, everybody say, whew. Lord, have mercy if I don't draw, if I don't pull like I need something and say, come on, I need that what's on them. Now, watch this. Watch this. It's so profound because God just dropped this in my spirit. This, this, this is the right now a word. Watch this. So watch this. It's so powerful that if you put a demand on it, it has to come for you. Oh, Lord, help me up in here. It was this. Uh, he says, uh, amen. Elisha's actor Elijah said, he said, what do you want when I, before I be taken? He said, I, I, I want double what you have. Now, he had double without taking the measure away from him that he had. Which means I can ask for double, but I'm not going to decrease what you have. I've said that before, but my point is this here, is that there's nothing you cannot, you cannot run out of oil except you don't want to do nothing with it. Woo! Come on, church. Are y'all getting this today? Lift your hand and say, Lord, I thank you for being wrapped. Lord, are y'all getting it? I want y'all to grab this. Watch this now. So the Bible says, and Jehu, the son of Nimshi, shalt thou anoint to be king of Israel, and Elisha, the son of Shaphat, amen, shalt thou anoint to be prophet in thy room. He said, I'm going to give you to anoint. Now watch what, now what? This is powerful because I want you to catch this. The powerful part about this is that he says, you go and anoint them. He's a type of Christ. Stay with me. He's, 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 he went to two kings. Now, watch this. Because Elijah knew that if I stay in God's presence, when, I, when something is asked of me, I can produce it. I got in me two kings. Whew. I got in me another prophet. I got it in me because God has put it there. And so the reservoir of his life was great. Are y'all getting this? So what happens is this here. Everybody say, Lord, wrap me, wrap me, wrap me, wrap me, wrap me, wrap me, wrap me. Watch this now. And so he goes down, verse 19. The Bible says, so he departed and found Elisha. Everybody say, he found Elisha. Amen. Look at someone and say, sometime the anointing will come looking for you. Ooh, I wish I had three folks that come on and praise them over there. Sometime the anointing will come looking for you. Say, you know what? I need to find somebody I can put myself on. I need to find me somebody I can put my press. I need to find somebody I can put myself on. Y'all getting this today? Ooh, come on, church. Are y'all receiving this? Are y'all receiving this? Come on. So the Bible says, 
So in verse 19, so he departed thence and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen before him. And, and watch this now. And he with the 12, Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle. Everybody say the mantle. Now, there's two words I want you to remember. One is mantle right now, and the word, other one is wrapped. Amen. I think you got the word wrapped, but watch the word mantle. Now, the mantle was this type of coat, cloak thing that he had. Mother, the thing that really blessed me was this here. Now, he takes the cloak and he casts it on his son. The Bible gives no specifics on what happens to the coat after then. You come down several chapters later, you go all the way to 2 Kings, and you find here comes this coat. Uh, Y'all look at me like, oh, Lord. Sorry, this is how it go. Come on, y'all. Y'all getting this? He puts a coat on Elisha that he had. Everybody say mantle. Everybody say mantle. Everybody say thank God for the mantle. He cast it on him, and then Elisha chases after him. But the Bible doesn't really give a lot of detail of what happens to the coat. You can say different things. He might have gave it back to him or whatever. Or watch this, another coat appear. Whatever you can say. But the Bible doesn't give de detailed instructions on what happened to the coat. When you go over to watch this now. So he puts it on him and he follows him. Which means he chases after what he sees he needs. I know y'all quite, I'm not trying to hype you, but I do, I do, I, I want your prayers, if nothing else. If you don't get nothing, I want you to get this. So watch this now. So he, everybody say, wrap yourself, wrap yourself. How many can admit that all the time you didn't wrap, y'all ain't nobody going to wave your hand. I didn't wrap myself all the time, Yvette. I, I, I missed a few wrappings, but I, I, I recognize as we get towards the end, I want to tell everybody, you're going to need to wrap yourself in this thing. As we get towards the end, amen, you can bring us up a little, little bit. Watch it. If you, as we get towards the end, you're going to need to bring yourself into a place where you wrap yourself in it. Because if you couldn't come to church, amen, you found out if you was wrapped during COVID. Y'all don't want to have no, amen. You found out how much you had during COVID. You found out if you really was wrapped. Because we were supposed to be like this here. All of those great services and the ones we just came out of, we were supposed to wrap ourselves in it. Can I say something? And everybody get this. Time is winding up. You don't, I know. You don't have time to miss one wrapping. Because the wrapping that you miss is the one you're going to need. Lord, I need, come on, y'all. Tell somebody, say, don't miss it, don't miss it, don't miss it. So the Bible says, so he departed this and found Elijah. Uh, it's it's going to get better. Who was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen. Elijah passed by him and cast his mantle on him. Now, watch this. Watch this. Now, why is that important? Because when we, what we call mantle, we're going to the New Testament in a moment. But everybody say mantle, mantle, mantle. Everybody say, thank God for the mantle. Now, 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 watch this. In ancient Hebrew, it, it symbolizes a, watch this, a circle. It's circular. It, it's, it's, it symbolizes something that surrounds you. So, when the mantle comes, it's something that goes around your life. And I need something to go around my life. Does anybody need something to go around your life? Does, does anybody just need something to go? I mean, Y'all, come on. Amen. You, 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 you need something to go around your life sometimes. Because sometimes, amen, you need all sides covered. Yeah. You need every side. You need your back, front, and side. You need everything covered. So when you find yourself in a situation, that same anointing will break the yoke. It will destroy the yoke. It will come on. That mantle that you, whew, that you picked up. Everybody say, pick up the mantle. When it's dropped, somebody got to pick up the mantle. Now, mantle does not put you above or anything. Oh, no. It just means that it's there for your use. Ooh, I wish y'all should shout. It, it don't put you beyond, amen, your leader. It don't put you, uh, it don't elevate you. It just means when it drops, I got to pick it up. I, I, I'm the one, amen, everybody say, I'm going to pick it up. When it falls, I'm going to pick it up. Why do I pick it up? Because it surrounds me. How many, how many know that in your dark hour, it surrounded you? 
How many know that when things got rough, amen, it surrounded you, Sister Whitney? Come on now. It, it, it was around. Amen. Even though stuff came for us, y'all should shout. Uh, even though things came for you, it surrounded you. I need y'all to shout. Don't we thank God how it surrounded our mother curl? And y'all better come on talk to me. Aren't we glad that the mantle was around her? Aren't we glad that the mantle was around the man of God? Because when it was on them, it surrounded. Now y'all watch this. Though it looks like, everybody say looks like, things were going on on the outside, on the inside the mantle had everything took. The mantle had everything taken care of. Y'all got to recognize that God does a finished work as well as a, a man of continuous. And so what happens when we are surrounded by the anointing, the devil may try, but when you, everybody say I'm surrounded, y'all better come on. Oh, y'all not going to pray for me. Come on. Everybody say, I'm surrounded. Come on. Everybody say, I'm surrounded. That means I'm surrounded with that. Now, I want to say that this house, blessed, I preach many places. Y'all need to really thank God for the oil that pulls out in this house. That was okay for just, just a little simple. Y'all need to praise him for the oil that's in this house. Are y'all getting this today? So watch this now. Watch this. Now, the same. Now, I, I struggle with this because I'm trying to understand it. But this is a call to watch this. The same anointing of the bell that he wrapped himself in. Elder, watch this. He takes the mantle, wraps it, and smokes the water. So the mantle that he wrapped his face in. It's the same mantle he went back and, and divided the water zone. Y'all not come on. So what he does is, he said, yeah, it's capable for me to wrap myself, but it's also capable of dividing stuff and opening. <laughs> Let me say it again, because I think, Elder, he goes back to the waters. He said, yeah, that what I wrapped in my face, I'm going to wrap it around my arm. Huh? And I'm going to tell the water. Open up. So what he does, the same mantle that was wrapped in his face, he takes the same mantle and turns it into a rod to smoke the waters. Woo! And then he walked over. Oh, come, he walk, why is that important to you? Because the same anointing that wraps around you is the same anointing that's going to cause things to stay away from you. It's the, sa yeah. it's the same anointing that you can go back and smoke some stain. It, is that all I got? Come on now. It's the same anointing that's going to go, Sister Phyllis. And when you come on now, and it's gonna, you, you're going to be able to smoke the waters with. You're going to be able to smoke stuff with that fights you. That same thing that you wrapped yourself in. I said, God, how in the world? How in the world does the mantle that he put his face in? Turn around and he wraps it and smoke the waters with. Can I say this and y'all praise him? Because the anointing got transforming power. Give me just a little ivory on that because I think they didn't hear that. Tell somebody they got transforming power. That means whatever you needed to be at a certain Whatever, ha, 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 ha. whatever you needed to be at a certain time. Amen. You might need it to be a defender in the courtroom. Here it comes. It will smoke you. Hey, it will smoke the waters for you. It will smoke the situation for you. Woo. Tell somebody, I thank God for the breaking. Come on, shout hallelujah, somebody. Come on, shout hallelujah, somebody. Woo. Come on, shout hallelujah. Now, let me say this. There's a difference between being used in the anointing and being wrapped in it. Now, I recognize the maturity of the house and me coming to say that. That's not meant to be offensive to anyone. It's just that we, I, I just, and I'm talking to myself as well. I want God to use me, elder, but I also want to, I also want to be like an Elijah. I want to wrap it. I'm not, I want, Sister Kathy, I need, amen, woman of God. I need, I, I need it to go with me when I leave this building. I need, I need y'all to come on, come on now. 
So stand by, amen, when you, get, when you get to the house, whatever fell here should step in the house with you. Ooh, I wish I had, come on, amen. It should go to the car lot when you go into the dealership. It's, it, go, it, it goes before you, as the man of God said. It goes before you to the house sitting for you. It goes before you to the grocery store, amen. So the person that's getting ready to offend you, that tell somebody they're going to run into my anointing. Y'all better come on they going to run into the mantle. they going to run into the smoking of the waters. They... Woo, don't y'all make me preach hard. Y'all getting this today? Amen. So whatever's trying to fight you, tell somebody I'm wrapped. Sister Turner, you're wrapped. Hallelujah. Oh, I feel God. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. You're right. You probably said, well, why do certain things happen? Amen. You don't recognize the devil got a destiny for all of your attacks. And a lot of your attacks didn't go where they were supposed to go. Y'all ready to shout? Because you were wrapped. But can I put this in the atmosphere? Your recovery is double. I need you to find somebody say, my recovery is double. Woo! Everybody throw your hands up, say, my recovery is double. Come on, shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Woo! Are y'all getting this today? So don't be the person that's anointed for the moment. Be the person that's wrapped in it. Y'all got to get that. Don't be the person that get it on Sunday, but lose it on Monday. Don't be the person that say, I got prayer and I fell out. But God said, what did you leave here with? I got to get something, y'all. And I want to tell y'all that what we're about to get is going to take an anointing. Can the church say amen? Oh, I hope y'all getting this today. Watch this. Take your seat for just a second. Take your seat. Watch this. Watch this. Are y'all getting this today? Tell somebody, say, thank God I'm wrapped. Oh, y'all not saying that with some intensity. Amen. Just a little bit more on the stage. I want you, okay. Everybody say, thank God I'm wrapped. Now, some of y'all probably think, well, you know, I, you know watch this. Sometimes it can be so good, you don't know how good it is. You don't know how good God has been. Come on now. Now, y'all, amen. I, amen. I, amen. If I lived any closer, amen, I want y'all to know I would be a member of all nations. Y'all better come Come on now. If I lived any closer, but I am a member of all nations. Let me tell you not why, because I'm a son and I believe I'm wrapped. Woo. Let me tell you, when you're wrapped, there's just certain things. Y'all ready for this? When you're wrapped in it, amen, God is saying this here, that when you're wrapped in it, I'm going to fight your enemies for you. How many know you had to, the enemy be destroyed? See, what, one thing that we are so misunderstanding about is when things happen against us or to us, we just feel like, but you got to recognize it can happen to anybody. You can never think that what happens to somebody can't happen to you. It just that that may not be your thing, but sometimes what you're dealing with, somebody else has never faced. But the thing that God is saying to you in this season, that now that we're, we're getting older, we're getting more mature, but I thank God, you still got to stay wrapped. You still got to be wrapped in this thing. And I need a mantle. Watch this now. Amen. I, 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 I got a testimony. I hope y'all don't, amen, don't, 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 don't get quiet on me. My testimony is I'm thankful for the anointing that I'm with and under. I'm thankful for what God has done because he smoked the waters in my behalf. I'm, I like to be transparent because everybody's on a different level. I thank God for the mantle. Now, y'all don't have to shout with us, but I, I always teach people when you shout with somebody else, you, you, might, you just might be next. Me and my wife just got a beautiful home. Y'all go ahead. I'm going to let y'all marinate that for a moment because I, I want you to understand. Now, whoo. Sister Lisa, Yvette, I wasn't supposed to get a house because I had came, y'all see nobody on I had came under such attack, Elder, that everything in my life had came under attack seemingly. But 
Y'all got to understand one thing about the anointing. It, it pushes you to your recovery. See, y'all don't want to. I, I, I'm not an apostle, but I, y'all better come on and get this today. Yeah. It will push you to your re- recovery. So we, it will push you to your recovery. I, now, I'm not proud of it, but I couldn't get a house because, watch this now, Mother Curlin. And I'm not, I'm not, I, you got to understand. You have to understand my whole testimony. I was well set up some years ago. And I went through some things. And even my leader, he said, he said, he said Pastor Boy, I don't want you to do that. I did it anyway, hard head. Thank God for mercy. He told me, he said, don't do it. I was just shelling out money. Keep it. Just shelling out. Doing this. Emptied out all I had. He says, okay. Everybody say recovery is awesome. So I need about 10 of y'all to shout that during COVID, God knows how to recover. Y'all don't want to come on. Elder Turner, I, I, so, I, so watch this. So all of a sudden, a house dropped in my spirit. And I, now I need y'all to understand. Now, you can judge me if you want to, but I didn't have the means to do it at the moment that I did it. Woo. I didn't have the means to do it at the moment that I did. I said, God, you know what? I said, but I feel this thing in my spirit. But all of a sudden, I just need y'all to shout with me. The means came so easy. Y'all, I I, I need some happy folks coming. Watch me. I was down, but the anointing came for me. Hey, I was. Mother, the anointing came for me and said, what all you've done, I remember. <laughs> so what God did, Elder Bell. Y'all want, watch this. He turned my prosperity situation all the way. <laughs> Sister Lisa, in a matter of weeks, y'all better come on, talk to me. So I we go looking for a house. We could have stayed in my town home. I have another daughter that I inherited. I got some grandchildren. Y'all know my story. And so we said, we need a bigger house. We got a mother that sometimes we say, you know what? If our mother, my mother wants to come and stay with us, we need a house for that. My little two-bedroom wasn't going to do it. Oh, we could have made provision. So we started looking for a house. I called my leader. And I said, Apostle, I need you to pray that God would bless. He said, son, God going to give you that house. Now watch. Are y'all ready for this? Watch this. So now, while in the midst of the house, how many of the devil will rear up his head? I had the credit. I had the down payment. But I couldn't get it finalized. I I went and dealt with all the stuff I need to wipe stuff out. Y'all better come on. I mean, I know all the things. You got to have your credit cards got to be wiped out. Y'all better come on. Wiped out all of that. Got my credit rating up. And so... The man that was doing the more, he says to me, he says, I have never seen anything like this. He said, y'all should be approved by now. So he said, y'all should be approved. He said, it makes no sense that y'all don't have the house. He said, I know people that I've got approved for le- with less money. He said, a lower credit rate. He said, he said, I don't understand it. My wife said, we're going to pray. Y'all better get, sh- thank God for prayer, y'all. I called Apostle back and I said, Apostle, I need you to pray for me. He said, son, he said, I don't know. He said, but God's going to give you all that house. And I said, okay. I, now watch this. I said, on that word, I'm going to stand on that word. I want y'all to know that we went through three months for them just to verify and, and do it. Three months. Doing them three months. Y'all know how the devil is. Y'all better come on. I was like, you know what, Sister Kathy, I said, you know what, forget this. I ain't got, I would have stayed right here. And so I said, you know what. And so then all of a sudden, I decided, I drafted a letter, and I said, you know what. I sent a letter to the company. I said, this makes no sense. I said, this makes no sense. I said, I should be approved. Watch this, y'all. And all of a sudden, the next day, the man calls me. He said, he said sir, you are approved. He said, go look at your house. We went and looked at some houses. And we said, you know what? This is not the one. This is not the one. Because they were certain in our area, you can get a house that costs a couple hundred thousand dollars, but it ain't that big. Y'all come on, talk to me. That's Illinois and Chicago for you. So we kept looking, and my wife found this house. And she said, she said, honey, let's go look at this house. So we had just left here, I believe. And so we came in, and we saw the house. She looked at me. I said, this is the house. And so then we told them the house was $100,000 less than my approval. 
Watch. We presented to them the, the appraisal. I know y'all thinking the appraisal was good, everything. And they still waited. I could feel the devil event fighting. But I need everybody to hear this. You can shout on this. What's yours is all. I, I don't have the right church here this morning. I, I want you to know that what's yours is already. Because the anointing has already destroyed the yoke. Their concern. So God had, Elder Clyde, huh, went before me and dealt with it. And so all of a sudden, they said, you know what? We're going to go ahead and do the house. We're sitting at the closing. We have producing our, when I get to the closing, now y'all don't have to shout over this, but it made me happy. They had a certain amount for closing. Sister Colory got to closing, and there was $5,000 less. Y'all don't have to shout because I needed some dining room furniture. I needed a living room. I needed to buy some stuff, Elder. And God said, your money, your money's going to be there. Y'all better come on, quit playing with me. God said, I'm going to make a way because the anointing destroyed. Shout it, destroyed it for me. Throw your head back and give God a praise. Almost done. Y'all getting this today? See, you got to understand my position. I didn't have the means to get one because I had lost everything. Now, y'all, I'm a son of the house. If you're not happy, that's okay. But I want y'all to know this. I have made full recovery. Elder, I made full recovery. I made full recovery. Which means God said, whatever the devil meant, I'm going to turn it around. Now, I'm going to fix it so that Mother Curl and I made full recovery. Now I'm a homeowner. We got a plan to pay it off in five years. Y'all don't have to shout. Watch this. Almost 3,000 square feet of house. I need you to look at somebody and say, God does too much. So what God does is he says, I'm going to, oh, everybody shout overflow. I need some overflow. God says overflow. So he overflows me because I was in a place, amen. And how many of y'all have ever packed and found stuff you need to throw out? I'll look down because y'all know it's the truth. I said, Lord, I just, I, I needed a match and some, and some lighter fluid. Y'all don't want to have no church. I just wanted a match and some lighter fluid and just say, foof, I'm done. We're going to start over. Come on, y'all. It was too much stuff in, that, in my little place. And then her place. Because I don't want to get pushed in the flow later on. Y'all, come on, talk to me. It's a tr- I mean, I said, I said, girl, where did you? So I've been by myself. I said, where do you get all this stuff from? And here I am. My, I'm carrying boxes. I'm like, I said, I should have paid somebody to do this because I'm this don't make no sense. I'm carrying shelves and stuff. I work out and tired. I'm tired. I said, this don't make no sense. But, 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 but watch this. We got in the floor, Sister Wendy, and we sat down. Y'all don't have to shout, but that's okay. And she was sitting beside me. And we looked down the hall. We said, we got all this house. Ain't number me and you. Probably said, you don't need all that house. Oh, yes, I do, because I got visitors coming. I got a family for Thanksgiving. I got people that may stay with me. Come on now. I got, amen. Come on, somebody. We got rooms for the people. Amen. I got rooms for my grandsons. Y'all don't want to have church. And they've been calling me, Sister Kathy, talking about Paul Paul. They just text me, when are you going to come get us? Uh, Paul Paul, you said last week, we are waiting for you. When are you coming? I said, Lord, have mercy. And, and so now, because we got a big house, y'all know how our kids are. I just need y'all. All of a sudden, you got a big house. My grandson, y'all come on now, told his mama, you know, we like y'all, but we going to stay with Papa because he got some money. Y'all better come on. To- I said, the devil is a lie. I said, the devil is a lie. But I need five of y'all to shout with me. God will make you look better than what you've been through. I, I, Tell your neighbor, God will make you look better than what you've been through. Tell your neighbor, God will make you look better than what you've been through.
Thank you, look better than you. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Yes. Oh, God. He'll make you look better. Throw your head back and say yes. You know what God does? Everybody say better than where you've ever been before. Tell somebody that God's going to make it better than what it's been before. Whew, how many of y'all believe that? Lift your hands and say increase. Increase on you. Tell somebody say increases all around you. Increases all around you. Increases all around you. You better prophesy. Tell them say increases all around you. Wave your hands and say Throw your head back, say, God, I'm next. I don't know what that means to somebody. Woo! I remember coming here. I don't care what you think now. It don't make a difference. But I can't believe that. I, I remember coming here, amen, with just, amen, the amount for the hotel and the gas. Come on now, and to put an offering in. And I was sitting here, I said, but Lord, my age, and God said, you don't know what I got prepared for you. Oh, y'all missed that. And he said, I need you just to stay in my presence. And I didn't know that everything I had given out, y'all know that my net worth came back. And I found out what I lost, my network doubled. Y'all can shout right there. Woo! Y'all don't say, come on now, my network doubled. And I said to myself, God, you're so good. Come on, say amen, somebody. I learned some lessons, but I thank God. Take your seat for just a second. Hold it one second. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Woo! Jesus says, I wish somebody would praise him anyhow. Woo. Glory to God. I thank God for every time people gave me prayer. I thank God for every time Apostle Raptors. I thank God for every time I stack it with Ella Bell up and down the aisles. Because God was working. Everybody say working, working, working. Come on, shout hallelujah. Jesus says in Luke 8 chapter, he said, who touched me? The New Testament, Luke 8, 45 and 46 on the screen. In the New Testament, I said, God, how do we get back to where Elijah's at? He said, who touched me? The word there in the Greek does not mean touch. I know we're not, you know, you know, but it does not mean touch, Elder Hit. If I can just put my shoulder on, it don't mean touch. It means grab. He said, Who latched himself onto me and would not let go? He said, Where are the Jacobs in the house that told me? I'm not going to let you go in until you, I, I, I will not let you go until you do something for me. I need every woman and man to hear me say, don't, tell somebody, say, don't let go until he blesses you. I could have, y'all don't want to, come on somebody, come on. I could have gave up doing my storm. I could have thrown in a towel and threw away preaching. Some of y'all don't know, I had made it in my mind, I don't even want to preach no more. Y'all said, mm -hmm. that's all right. It's all right. I said, and, I and, and the apostle said, he said, he said, no, he said, son, you still got word in your mouth. He said, keep on going. And it was on that word that I kept saying, but keep going. How many of y'all have kept going through the storm? I got just a few. How many of y'all kept going through the storm? I need y'all to tell somebody, say, payday is coming. Say it like you mean it. Say, payday is coming. Woo! Throw your head back and say, payday is Hey! You may have lost your job, but payday is you may don't feel good in your body, but payday is... <laughs> Somebody don't like you, 
in the church, but payday is. Tell somebody it's because I'm wrapped. I'm wrapped. I'm wrapped. Two things God told me because of time's sake. I need to come and bring this message in. Are y'all getting this today? Tell somebody, thank God I've been wrapped. Payday is coming, y'all. Woo! Stay with me, y'all. Watch this, watch this, watch this. So, so over in the book of St. Luke, the 8th chapter, amen, Jesus said, who touched me? So the Bible said, listen, that the multitude is thronging thee. And you asked me, who touched me? Jesus was identifying with a touch that was spirit realm and not carnal. I can identify because everybody else just wants something, but you need something and you want something. And you're touching with the right kind of touch. The Bible says he identified and he turns to her and he says, who touched me when all denied? Peter said, man, everybody is pressing. Can I tell y'all something? All of y'all can be pressing, but who touched you? I'm not going to weary you with this because I'm, I'm going to bring it in, but I want you to hear. Everybody can be touching, can be reaching, but who's touching? Anybody getting this today? I made up my mind. I can't no longer just be in the room. I don't, y'all don't have to hear me. I, 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 I just can't sit I don't have time. I, 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 I need every breakthrough I possibly can get. And coming to church is not an option for me just to sit and stare. I got to leave here with something. Hey, so he says, Jesus says, watch this, somebody touch me because virtue has left me. So now what? In the Old Testament, we have a cloak, we have a mantle, we have this. In the New Testament, we got Christos, we got Christ. The person that Elijah, y'all, y'all, come on, come on. The person that Elijah was trying to get us to all the time. He says, I'm just a shadow. I'm trying to get y'all to the real person. He said, now, he said, I'm not just wrapping myself in a physical mantle. I am wrapping myself in him. Y'all better come on. I'm Christ. Everybody say Christ. The word Christos is the word. Now watch this now. So there's two things we got to do, and I want to finish with this here. One thing you got to do, tell somebody you got to pull like you lost your mind. Oh, y'all, y'all said that real calm. That's all right. Y'all know how I, I got to make y'all say that again. Y'all remember how we used to be, and I've talked about this before. You know, I am only where I'm at in anything is because I was pulling when I didn't feel like it. I was pulling when I, I was like, I need that word today, and I'm not going to sit here like an ordinary person. I'm going to get... Mother Sellers, I'm going to get to... Y'all got to recognize... I am a 19, I was a 19, 19 now, which I'm praising for. I was a 19 year old man, young man, came to the church, didn't know my way, had just lost some very dear people in my life, and did not know where I was going. But God said, if you pull on me, He said, if you pull on me, some of y'all forgot how to pull. Amen. He said, if you pull on me, if you pull, ooh, yeah. I, mean, I don't care, I've been here for a while, but God said, keep on pulling. Tell somebody, say, keep on pulling. Because see, watch this, y'all. See, I, I, I want y'all to be careful with the comfort of being blessed. The comfort of being, y'all, see, y'all, y'all, y'all don't hear me now. The comfort of being blessed will make you relax. Woo, hey, y'all, I, I, got, I made 10 of y'all, man. What's the, the comfort of being blessed? I got money. I got a house. We got cars. My kids is cool. Everything is all right. But the comfort woo, of being blessed will make you take down your guard. I know y'all got this mask on. Y'all not hollering. It's not running. Amen. I, but I want y'all to hear this. I know I need to bring it in. But watch this. See, the comfort is, I, you know, I got, you, you can see your stocks. You can see your bonds. You can see your money. And after, if you don't watch it, you will relax. Woo. I'm all right. Everything is good. But you don't know when something will come for you. Y'all got quiet when I said that. So tell them, say, neighbor. Tell them, say, neighbor, it's to your benefit to keep on pulling. 
So they pull. I understand, amen, the greatest person now, amen, is your leader. I didn't know how to throw this over here. But I understand this. But yet, whoever stands here, you better pull. You know why? Because you don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. You may need that pool to fight where you're going on your way to. Lift your hands and say, God, help me to pool. Next, we go to the house of Bethany. A house that's in Bethany, Mark 14, and I'm done. The Bible says, watch this now. There's two things you got to do. Is you got to pull and you got to pour. Pour, P-O-U-W-R, excuse me, P-O-U-R. Here goes a woman who does not really have a, a unique, everybody argues about this particular person, but here goes a woman who the Bible says, she breaks, the box arguably is a flask. There was a place called Alabastron where there is a place where some of these flask vials are made. It is known that what's in those boxes, that some had a seal, some were, were flask. In the, theolo in the theology, they say it was like a flask or it was a box sealed. The only way to get the scent out and get what was in the box out, you had to break the seal. If you broke the seal, then what was behind in the box would pour out. God says sometimes, I don't want y'all to get offended. It's, this may not, don't, don't take this personally. But while God is breaking you, it's going to pour out. Well, sometimes God breaks the seal on us. But, he, woo, woo. but when it comes out, you're going to be all right. The word break in the Greek means to break in pieces and to crush. Woo. It means to break the power of anything that's around you. That's the symbolic in this other. So God is saying two things that we got to do in the New Testament, amen, to wrap ourselves. We got to pull and we got to pour. Woo! We got to, what you mean by pour? We got to pour ourselves out. Woo! Just like we did before. Even though you've got no to God, help me pour myself out. And why is that important? Because in the pouring out of yourself is when God releases anointing back on your life. I'm almost doing it. When, amen. I, I need everybody to understand something. That when you got your hands lifted, I don't want you to think that ain't nothing happening. While your hands are lifted and saying, oh, God, God is doing it. He loves a pouring out church. Whew. And I love the house of God because we understand that when we pour out, God pours back in. Can the church say hallelujah? Can the church say hallelujah? Look down your own, say neighbor. Every time you praise him, don't think nothing's not happening. <laughs> Say there's some breaking going on. Oh, there's some breaking going on. You can throw your head back and say hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Not going to push you, but I need you to hear this today. How many understand that you need to wrap yourself? That it's important that you wrap yourself. It's important that you don't let a service go. A lot of times I'm able to tune in in between services because we do a 9.30 and a 2. So I'm able to tune in. Many services I've watched you all just worship for such a long time. And I've watched the presence of the Lord come in. And do you know even, y'all? can y'all shout that even through Facebook, God can steal. Ooh. I'm not saying stay home in the West, not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I ain't, well, I ain't, I ain't gonna get amen. I ain't saying that. I'm saying that God is so good that He can send power through your phone. And there was a moment where I just needed just a little bit of lift, and I tuned in, and, and something was said, and the anointing just came and got, got me right in before we went to the next service. And I said, God, that's just what I needed. How many of y'all thank God for the strength that you get every time you come? Whew. Tell somebody, say, you're next. Glory to God. Stand, everyone. Stand, stand, stand. Come on, clap your hands, everybody.
I didn't preach hard, but I want y'all to hope y'all got that. Look down and said, neighbor, I'm wrapped because God ain't through with me yet. Say it again. Say, neighbor, I'm wrapped and God is not through with me yet. I need about 60 folks to give God a crazy praise for about the next... Come on, everybody. Give him praise in the house. Hey. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hey. Glory. Glory to God. This is what the Lord put in my spirit. He said, tell the saints to shout for the next move of God that's on this way here. Woo. He's... He said, tell the saints. Woo. He said, tell the saints to shout for the next move that's on the way. Throw your head back and say, I thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you. Reach your hands up and say, Lord, I thank you for the anointing. Uh, I praise you for the anointing. Hey! I know this seems strange, but I need about 10 people to jump out in the aisle and say, God got me. Right by you in the aisle. I need you to praise him like you lost your mind. I need you to thank him like you lost your mind. I need you to throw your hands up and praise him. Stomp your feet down and say, God got me. Take another step and say, God got me. Come on, y'all, stop playing church. I feel him in the house of God. Reach your hands up and say, God got me. And say, I'm ready. Say, I'm ready for the move of God. Throw your head back and give him a Shabbat praise. Hallelujah. Reach up and receive it in the house of God. Oh, you can't worry about me. You got to go in for yourself. Lord, I need what you're about to do for me. Lord, I need what you're about to pour out on me. Lord, I need what you're about to do. Reach your hands up. Surrender. Woo. Come on, surrender. Hold it for a second. Turn to somebody and say, neighbor. God said, and suddenly. I believe that there's a suddenly for the people of God. Woo! How many of y'all believe there's a suddenly for you? Glory. How many of y'all, how many of you believe there's a suddenly for you? Amen. Your hands are lifted before the Lord right there. Stand right there. Father, we thank you for the word of the Lord, for the presence of God. And Father, we thank you for what you're about to do in the name of Jesus. Thank you for my suddenly. Thank you, God, for what you, for the next move. Whew. For the next move you're about to do in this house. And for how you've already done some things in, and you're getting us ready for what you're about to do. And Lord, I'm, we're going to put a praise on it. Well, I'm going to put a praise on the move of God. I'm going to put a praise on the suddenly. I'm going to put a praise on everything you're about to do. In the name of Jesus. Someone say, I receive it. Even now. Now, I want you to give God a crazy praise right there. Come on, praise. 
praise Him, church. Glory to God. How many of you received the word today? Look down your say, neighbor, wrap yourself. How many people need to wrap yourself? Throw your arms around yourself and say, I thank God I'm wrapped. Hey. Hey. Glory to God. Thank God that I'm wrapped. How many of y'all got to keep pulling? And you got to keep pulling out. If you do it in the New Testament, you will receive a fresh anointing. How many of y'all thank God for a fresh anointing? Hallelujah. Amen. Clap your hands and give God a praise, everybody. Hallelujah. Throw your head back and give God a praise. How everybody? Come on, give him a praise in the church. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory. Hey. Glory to God. Oh God. Thank God for his presence. Amen. Lift your hands up for the Lord. Father, we thank you for your spirit today and for what you've done. Father, I pray that the people of God receive what you've said and God, you would bless them accordingly in the name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, God, for recovery. Everybody shout, recovery is mine. Oh, come on, say it. Say, recovery is mine. That means both natural and spiritual. God, recovery is. Glory to God is ours. And Father, we thank you for it. We bless you for it. In Jesus' name, someone say, thank God. Amen. While you're standing, lift your hands up before the Lord. Father, I thank you for this time of giving. I need some people that would step out in faith and sow a seed of 121. I'm going to do that today. A seed of 81. That's what two months have been on my spirit. Sow it today. Amen. Put a seed in the ground. Everybody say, seed blesses me. Who come on, say, seed blesses me. I want you to plant a seed in the ground today. The seed of 121, the seed of 81. I want you to plant it. You know how to give electronically. It's on the screen. Sow it today in the name of Jesus Christ. While you're here, whew, while you're here, while you're in this presence, amen. Sow a seed. While you're here, while you're here in this presence, plant in the kingdom. While you're here in this presence, whew, God's going to do great things. In the name of Jesus. I feel this, this word in the house of the Lord. Amen. That God this year, even in the midst of all nations, I know this is a, amen, this could be a, amen, take this as you receive it, amen, a year of great blessing and prosperity for this house. You've heard this before, but it's going to be unique because God's going to set on some of you in such a way 
than where you have literally, lift your hands everybody say, too much. Woo. Y'all, y'all didn't hear that. I said, God said, too much. That the spirit, y'all need to hear this today, of overflow has come to visit. Oh, God, I feel him right now. Ah! So it's at least the spirit of overflow. Woo. So it's because of your faithfulness, lift your hands up, woman of God. That God is not even finished elevating your statue. Woo. Because you are one of the humblest persons. And God is not finished elevating the statue who you are in this community he said I'm not done yet Woo. he said I'm not done yet he says just the beginning he said the plateau you're at now that's not it hallelujah see y'all sister y'all better praise come on he said I'm not done yet he said because you will always give it back to me oh God help and the things that you've cried for in the midnight hour God said I hear Woo, y'all better the things you've longed for in the God said, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you, I hear you. Woo. And the reward is sure to come. Y'all better help for your faithfulness. Woo. He said, but your statue will be elevated in the community to such a place that you'll be by facial recognition. People say, that's so-and-so. Woo. They'll know who you are. And it's not because you want that. that y'all, but y'all ready to shout? God said, that's what I want for you. Woo. Glory to God. I feel him, y'all. Amen. I, I know the message was somewhat a little challenge, but amen. I feel him. I feel him. I feel him. I feel him. Amen. Turn around to us and I said, we getting made to prosper. I feel God. Woo. And so the spirit, God said this, and I felt this in, in me. And I, I'm going to release the mic, but I felt this in the room. So he said that the spirit of overflow in the house. But what I need is some people that got their cup out. Hey! He said, if your cup is out, it's going to double. Woo! Everybody say, my cup is out. My cup is out. I need you all to hear this. And, and, and I need you to hear this, this, this. I know I don't usually move prophetically here, but I just want you to hear this. That in this season, as you dedicate yourself to God, some of the unique things that you've had in your spirit, God's going to manifest them just because. Woo! You give yourself to him. This is the time of the overflow for this house. He said, first, hear me, spiritually. Woo. He said, next, naturally. There is nothing, y'all come on, that God can't do Woo. in this place. He said, I'll make you a marquee for the community. Well, people will look and say, good God Almighty. Them, y'all, y'all ready to shout? Them focus, bless. But watch this. It will turn to be the blessing to them. Woo, y'all. And watch to seek the God. Oh, y'all don't hear that you serve. It's going to make the sinner turn. Y'all, woo. It's going to make the sinner go. If they can be blessed, because you know one of the things, y'all need to shout on this. One of the things, this is not perfect, but this is just a word I'm going to put in the house. One of the things that the world says, why should I come to church? Them people struggling. All nations, if y'all don't shout, that's okay. Well, God's taking the struggle out of every part of this atmosphere. So when the sinner look, y'all should y'all should have hollered. When the sinner look at and say, "Wow, he got a business, she got a business." Hey, watch this. I need to go be with God. The sinner should be able to look at us and say, "You know what? They should be able to compare their stuff with our stuff." Y'all better come on talk to me and go. Y'all don't have none. That's why I'm gonna stay over here. But that's not gonna happen in this city. God's going to give people to look and say, my God, my God. Woo! You got a bad ride too. Y'all should have hollered right there. You got a nice house too. You got some, amen. Those are the things. See, the world needs a little bit of something different than just Jesus. The world needs to look at y'all and say, woo, you know what? They blessed. Y'all can shout because you can stay in neighborhoods that y'all, 
without having to be illegal. Y'all should have shouted right now. You can stay in homes and don't have to do anything wrong. You can, you can live good. But the Lord said to tell you all this here. That the living of greatness has just begun in all nations. That the living of goodness has just begun in this house. That what you see now will be like double down the road. And for some of you that feel like you haven't picked up your blessing yet, I need y'all do me a favor. Find somebody in the house and say, stay with it, you next. Woo! Point to somebody, amen. Be out in your house and say, you are next, God. Woo! Do it. Ah. Oh, God. Lift your hands right there. As I release this time to my elder in just a second here. In the name of Jesus. Everybody say, and it is so. Everybody say, and it is so. Do me a favor and put a praise with that, and it is so. God bless you. to give God some praise for that word come on and give God a praise for the word on today hallelujah we thank God for the man of God come on and praise God for Pastor Winborn come on and give God praise for him hallelujah we praise him we praise God for his wife come on and clap your hands one more time in order for you to pull on God, you have to be obedient. When they tell you to praise God, you praise God. When they tell you to clap your hands, you clap your hands. When they tell you to open your mouth, you open your mouth. That's the only way you can pull. Because in this season, we don't want to miss God. We want to pull on the anointing that he can pour into us. Because it's the anointing that destroys the yoke. We want to be wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in the things of God. In the anointing of God. So come on one more time and give God. God, a praise. Praise Him for that word. Praise Him that you're under divine influence. Praise Him that God has spoke His word to you. Hallelujah. Prosperity is following you. Goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life. Come on and praise God. Come on and magnify Him on this morning. We thank God again for the word of God and for the messenger. Amen. Clap your hands, all ye people. And shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We give him praise. We give him honor. We give him glory. And at this time, we're going to ask those that need to pay their tithe and offering. Amen. You can come at this time and pay your tithe and offering. Or you can pay online. There are, it's up on the screen, the ways to give. Amen. If you have done that, has everybody done that? We'll move on. But if not, if you need to pay your tithes and offering, we'll have Deacon Barnett, we'll have a basket up here. Come quickly and give God a praise while you're coming. Amen. Let's not get quiet on God because God is doing something in this house. And we're looking for God to move and manifest himself in such a great way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A receiving heart, a believing heart is a receiving heart. How many believe that word on today? Amen. Amen. And they are, com they are coming, Deke. Praise God. We thank you for your liberalities. Amen. Amen. Come and bless the house on today with your tithe and your offering. We thank God for you. Amen. God will bless it. He will give increase. We thank him for your giving. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, bless that offering. Let it be used for the upbuilding of your kingdom. In the name of Jesus, we do pray. And before we go into our announcements, I just want to offer you Jesus on today. 
If you don't know him as your savior and you're wondering why we're talking about pulling and the anointing that destroys the yoke, you can know that too by a personal relationship with him. And at this time, if you're not saved, I want you to make your way to the altar. Amen. If you want to give your heart to the Lord on today, make your way to the altar. Amen. We don't want to leave this place without offering you Jesus. Amen. So we're all saved. Praise God. Hallelujah. We thank God for salvation. Glory to God. Just a few announcements. We want you all to remember our New Year's revival. Save the date. It will be the 7th through the 9th of January. Amen. We're looking to see you here. And also our Women of War conference will be the 4th through the 6th of February. We're looking for you all to come out in a mighty way. Save the day. And immediately after service at 1.15, we are going to finish what was prophesied to this house last week. We are going to march around the ground seven times. So those that will and can join us, we will do that immediately after dismissal. We'll start about 1.15. Amen. And if there's nothing else, I'm going to ask you all to stand on your feet. Again, we thank God for our pastor in his absence, First Lady Mary Curlin. We thank God for you, each and every one of you in your respective places. We thank God for the man of God for this hour, Pastor Winborn and his wife, sharing the word of God on today. Now, come on and let's give our God praise. Come on and let's leave this place with a praise. Hallelujah. Let's seal the word with the praise on today. We give God the glory. We give him the praise. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for sending your word. Thank, Thank you, you for Lord. joining us today. We pray the service was a blessing to you. If you would like to learn more about All Nations House of Prayer, or if you would like to give to our ministry, please visit our website at anhop.org. We also invite you to join us during our Monday night prayer call our Wednesday night Bible study, and every Sunday for our morning worship service. Until next time, may God bless you and may God keep you is our prayer.